Hello there, it's Nicole again with Body Mind Experience. It's so great that you're checking out my blog this week. Now, I'm so stoked this week I'm going to talk about exercise. You know, I talked about nutrition and how being positive is important for your health, but exercise is a huge passion of mine, obviously being a personal trainer, so I'm really excited to share this with you today. Um, I'm actually going to talk about interval training. I don't know if you know what interval training is, but interval training uh, you can use basically anywhere. You can use it on a bike, an elliptical, running outside, anywhere. And it's a cardio technique that you're spiking your heart rate up and letting it recover, spiking it up, letting it recover, spiking it up, letting it recover for about 20 to 30 minutes. So an example would be, say you're on a treadmill, you warm up for about two minutes, and then you sprint for a minute, and then you recover for two, then you sprint for a minute and then recover for two, and so on and so forth. So the great thing about interval training is that it spikes your heart rate up and makes it recover and this forces your body to learn how to be more efficient. And that's the whole point of cardiovascular exercise, right? Is to get your heart and your lungs more efficient and just become healthier. And when you're doing a stagnant run, all you're really doing, I mean, your, your heart only needs to recover one time. So it's basically taking like six different cardio sessions and cramming it all into one. And doing this, you are spiking your metabolism up like crazy. Studies have even gone to show that uh, your metabolism is running at that same rate that you're working out up to an hour after the exercise. So say you do interval training for 20 minutes, ideally you are burning calories for an hour, it's going to seem like you're burning calories for an hour and 20 minutes as opposed to just the 20. So you can see how interval training, you're burning more calories, you're, you're saving time, which is great for our society because we, have, we always have so much to do and exercise seems like such a chore when there's so many other things that need to be done. So if any client comes to me and says, I just don't have time, it's like, well, if you can do 20 minutes, which you can, you can do this. And the whole point of, <clears throat> of this is intensity. It's about intensity, not duration. So when you're doing interval training, you are hitting it hard. You are just killing yourself. So when you're getting into the last five minutes, you need to be like dragon. Like just like, I can't do this anymore. That's where you want to be. They say if you can last more than 20 or 30 minutes doing interval training, you're not doing it hard enough. So you need to push yourself when you're doing things like this. And also, it helps build muscle. All the fitness conventions that I've gone to is really saying that stagnant exercise is really out the door. Unless you're training for a marathon or a triathlon or something like that, it's not half as effective as interval training. And you save time, this is huge. So try this out this week. You can try it with walking, you can try it anywhere. And really push yourself and get yourself sweating and you'll really realize how great it is, how much time you save, and how good you feel because you work so hard. So I really hope you found this information informative, and uh, if you liked it, please let me know and share with your friends and family. Have a great week. See you later.